wait, <laughs> I think I just said fingers crossed in the video. Anyways, everything seems to be working. No technical difficulties tonight? <laughs> That's what I was saying fingers crossed to. Uh, game's kind of loud for me. Let me turn myself down a little bit, or turn it down for me a little bit. There we go. The game in general looks like it might be a little bit loud, but whatever. It's fine. Did memory card do the thing? The memory card should have made a new memory card for this. And it did. Perfect. We don't need to watch this, right? <laughs> Like, just because, like, it, it'll show it in the beginning of the game, I'm sure. I hope. Anyways, no? Oh, wait. <laughs> it's a good intro? Well, like, whenever we get into the actual game, like, we start a new game. Well, does it not? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I didn't know! How was I supposed to know? Camera reverse? Um, uh, we'll just leave it how it is. <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm, I, it's, I don't, I never played the game! I've only ever played Persona 1 and 3. And I've played, like, a couple of hours of each. So, like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, man. I'm just doing things. <laughs> you, need to, you need to, like, read my mind, right? Know what I'm about to do before I do it, and then just tell me, like, not to do it. Chase, what's up, man? I can now say I work here? Wait. <laughs> because you're on a five-stream streak? Well, I appreciate the being here, my guy. Settings intended for experienced gamers who'll be able to enjoy the normal challenge about yeah, that's fine. Question. Do you guys think we're gonna get to combat before the end of stream tonight? <laughs> or do you think it's gonna be all intro? Because when we played Persona 3, man, it took like what an hour, hour and a half to get into like the actual game and not just intro stuff. Uh everything is fiction. That's okay. <laughs> Good to know. Glad glad this isn't based on real life. But like I don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed what I played a Persona 3, but like yeah, it was there was a lot of exposition in the beginning of the game, a lot of exposition. And honestly, I kind of figured this one to be the same, but but I believe Rue. I believe Rue. If Rue says we'll get to combat today. Then we'll probably get to the combat today. I love the anime cutscenes. It again brings up the whole idea of like why uh, why games don't actually looks like look like this. Is that the same dude from Persona Three? Welcome to the Velvet Room. Oh wait, there's no subs. Why is there no subs, bro? Say hi to Igor. Hi, Igor. <laughs> That's oh, that's definitely the same dude from Persona ah, Three. It seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> I don't like that chuckle, Igor. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. Oh, I have news. By the way, my game room. I've made progress. Um, on my game room. I my next step is to build a desk to put in there. Once I get a desk built in there, I'm going to move all of my stuff into there, like streaming slash computer wise. And then it's TV and futon. Once I get TV and futon, then I have to like redo the streaming setup again because I'm going to stream console games from the futon so I can like be comfy comfy. But anyways, this dude looks so familiar and you don't know why. Have you played any Persona games before? Like Persona 3 or anything? This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Don't think so. so also, I can take your futon. Wait, do you actually have a futon you're trying to get rid of? Because if you do, I will consider it. Um, like, I just planned on buying one because they're not that expensive. But if I can get one for free that's in decent enough shape, then, like, fuck it, you know? Why not? Oh, you have to do, like, first and last name, huh? Yeah, no, no, no. I see, I see. I see that. Um, lay stream. <laughs> first and last name, guys. Let's go. What are we doing? Uh, how do we delete a circle? I forgot that's a thing in the Persona games. That's like all the Persona games. What's our last name, peeps? Give me anything. What was the... I forget what it was in the other one. 
Steam? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Steam? Steam is our last name? I can't- I don't know if that was a Steam stream. <laughs> <laughs> so st wait steam is stream steam i don't know which one's first which one's last doesn't matter perfect um there we go and then stream sounds beautiful to me steam is already your last name hush <laughs> Look, my mind don't work. I don't know what's going on here. It's been in the garage. I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Hmm. I see. Said so I'll, I'll I'll consider it. I'll uh either like stop over and take a look at it one of these days, or you can give me some pictures or something. I don't know. As long as it's like comfortable and in not shit condition, that's all I really care about. I didn't plan on buying anything fancy, anyways. Although the one that I actually like is like three hundred dollars, which is kind of annoying. Whereas the one that, like, I would probably buy does not feel all that comfortable at all, because it's only a hundred something. So, like, yeah, I'd definitely consider it. Now, let's take a look into your future, shall we? <laughs> she moved out for a good two Do months, nice. Fortune telling? <laughs> Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different <laughs> life itself follows the same principles doesn't it igor's got issues man what's the mm -hmm. lore of igor like if he's also in the Tower shin megami tensei games and shit represents the immediate future it seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent i'm gonna blame him for this the terrible catastrophe the future beyond that is the moon in the upright position this card represents hesitation mm. and mystery. There, it seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. Well, I'm pretty sure there's a mystery already imposed upon me. Like, what are you doing in my dreams, dude? Why is this what I dream of? What is wrong with me as a person? You enter into a contract of some sort. After which, you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be so, forever lost. Does that mean, like, all of the Persona and Shin Megami Tensei games are all, like, part of the same universe? I know, like, uh, Persona is just a spin-off, but, like... Hmm. Yeah. My duty yeah? Is no shit. I didn't know that. I didn't know they were all like one big thing. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. Hi, Margaret. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. I don't like Margaret. She reminds me of, like, a doll, a puppet. We shall attend to the details another time. Until then, farewell. Bye, Igor. <laughs> it's nice knowing you, friend. She's actually way cooler, trust me. I don't know, like, the three seconds that I saw her, she's just kind of creepy. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this is... A, this is not what I expected after that. That was... This kind of came out of nowhere. All right then. I'm tired of diets. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. <laughs> Slim down this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. Calorie magic? Mm. Now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. I'm sure everyone is eating. <laughs> yeah, first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? Nudlo519 just redeemed hydrate. I got you. Well, I have like sure half a cup of water. Already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Wait, we look dead inside. Is that us? Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. Whoever that kid is, he looks dead inside. Yes, okay. 
kind of figured by the <laughs> the look of I want to die on his face. It's a look I recognize quickly. <laughs> we will What's arrive that? at the Yasugami terminal in a few minutes. Passengers headed for Inaba City and Yaso Inaba Station. Please go to the other side of the platform. Man, I really wish we had good pu pu public transport. Bruh, she looks dead and he looks a little fucked. Oh, should we go soon? Yes, just about. <laughs> good. Good. <laughs> I too would be concerned if I had visions of Igor when I closed my eyes. <laughs> Why does that sound like one of those pronunciation guide things, you know? Like, <laughs> it didn't sound natural. Yasu Inaba. Is it supposed to have a pause in it? Wait, do I actually have control? No, not hey, yet. Over here. Is that my dad? Well, you're more handsome in no, person okay. than in your photo. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. Uncle, I'll be looking after oh. You. Okay. Let's see. I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. It's been a long time? I'll say. You've really grown. I still remember when you were in diapers. This here's my daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello to you too, girl. That's how I'm gonna start <laughs> greeting everybody. Just so hello. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. <laughs> I like her already. <laughs> well then, let's get going. My car's over there. Got in the car and headed for two. Sorry. I'm a little dead right now. Don't mind me. Uh, <laughs> Dojima's house. Huh. I'm fine. Everything's great. I like this town better so far than, like, the more city-esque feeling of 3. Persona 3. Nova Central Shopping District Gas Station. Mm. Love Hi. me a good gas station. Welcome to Mole. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? Uh -huh. I thought he was asking us. It was like, bro, I'd hope I know how to use the restroom by myself by now. It's in the back to your left. You know which way is left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. What if I'm left-handed? I know. Jeez. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. A city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. That begs the question, why did we move here from the big city? I'm sure that's like something they'll cover at some point, but... Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Bro, am I going to get a job thought, already? Why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Are you not a student yourself? You seem like a student. Oh, I should get back to work. Oh. <laughs> Are we having a stroke? Are you okay? 
I feel like I'm having one half the time, man, so, like, I get it. You don't look too good. That's kind of rude, child. The exhaustion from the long trip, now that she mentioned it, you feel a little dizzy. Just pass the fuck out. Right at the Dojima residence. For the next year, this place will be your home. There's a little bit of a clash between, like, the buildings and the characters. I don't know. The characters just look, like, cutesy for some reason. And then the buildings look, you know, more realistic in style. All right. Let's have a toast. Like, the characters should look like their portraits, basically, for this world, it seems like. But, of course, they, so <laughs> they look mom like and that. Dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? That's rough being a kid. In the well, remake, it looks really good. Is this the one they just here. remade? So it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. Um. Thank you for your kindness. Oh, that was Persona 3. Okay. okay, okay <laughs> Come okay. on. There's no need to be so formal. <laughs> Look, you're making Nanako all tense. Well, anyway, I get the feeling she's just a very shy kid in general. Oh, who's calling at this hour? Dojima speaking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see. So where is it? Uh-huh. All right, I'm on my way. You detective. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. Seems like know, some sort of go. detective or cop or something. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. Ding, let's fucking go, dude. <laughs> Nanako, <it's raining laughs> no point in even playing the game. I got everything I need already. I already brought it in. Well, I'm off. That just means more food for us, right? For this we can steal some of his. Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Oh, speaking of, there's a very small chance I lose power tonight because it's supposed to storm, but like... I don't know, it seems chill to me, so it's probably fine. Find yourself alone with Nanako. You might want to strike up a conversation. Um, it must be tough. No. What does your dad do? I don't know. It must be tough. It's always like this. My dad's a detective. Let's fucking go. I even had, like, the right kind of cop. Council Secretary Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. Right, he's just sleeping with everybody, ain't he? His wife, Enka Ballad Sensation Misuzu Haragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. Wait, this, did he do something? Is customer appreciation day. The freaking politician Come dude? And get in touch with our products. Is that what dad just went to investigate? Aren't you going to eat? No, but keep those instincts going. Mm, I don't know, man. I don't trust a politician, dude. He looks fucked. Save the game by using calendar in the living room. Yeah, sure. We'll save. Uh, Save data. Saving. Saving. First save is always the longest. It'll get there. Save successful. Awesome. What else can we do? Living room. Oh. Oh, hold on. Check. 
It's the kitchen. If you have some ingredients, you can make lunch for tomorrow. Can we actually cook? Bruh, I love cooking in video games. Some fried rice. Eat it? Wait, well, we just ate dinner. We probably don't need the fried rice right now. Can we, like, go upstairs and stuff? Too late to leave home. Okay, so that's, like, the exit exit. It doesn't do anything anyway? Really? Lame. I like cooking in video games. It's the room you're borrowing from Dojima. Sofa. Tired from the long trip. It'd be best if you went to bed early today. Okay. So, I'm assuming I just can't do anything yet. Other than probably talk to the kid. What was her name again? Okay, yeah, I can't do anything right now. That's fine. Let's go talk to the girl before we go to bed. Nanako, thank you. I will forget that. I promise. Mission change changed channel to the forecast. Rain, clouds, rain, 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 sun on the 17th. So we have like a solid week of rain coming up. Noise. Oh, um, should leave her alone. Okay, well, <laughs> don't ever forget Nautico John's name again. She's precious. I'm sorry, but my mind is like fried at the moment and my memory is terrible as is. So like, yeah, they wonder if you decide to go to bed, you may have a good dream. Wink. <laughs> what kind of dream we have in here, boy? You'll be living in this town for one year starting today. I wonder if everything will be all right. School starts tomorrow. You should hurry to bed. Bro, shouldn't we get here, like, a little bit before school starts? Like, maybe a week before or something, so we have a little bit of time to get acquainted with the town and shit. Before we're thrust right into school. Hmm? This is. This area is covered in a thick fog. Suddenly Silent Hill. Let's go. All you can do right now is proceed forward. Okay, well, let's go. 20 minutes in, you're about to taste a small bit of combat. Noise. Noise, noise, noise. Can I go backwards? What happens if I go backwards? Literally nothing. Okay. No. <laughs> I had to try, though, man. You always have to try and go backwards in RPGs. Keep going forward. There is no other way. Mm, see, now I want to not do it. I want to, like... Do you seek the truth? You heard someone's voice. See, now, like, that something happened, I want to go backwards again. <laughs> Just to see. Like, things could have changed. Look at this, like, weird dreamscape fog thing. Truth you desire, come and find me. Voice came from up ahead. Mm, I don't know, man. Could be throwing his voice. Is this the velvet room? Continue through? I mean, I guess we don't have a choice, right? Why does velvet room sound like some sort of sex thing, dude? So, you are the one pursuing me. Hmm, try all you like. Ooh, I like the new menu. This is cool looking. I mean, I guess just attack? Are we, like, trained in the art of sword fighting? <laughs> I almost said sorcery. It seems that you can see a little, despite the fog. What kind of skills do we have? What does Rush do? Does Rush, like, auto-pick stuff for us? Indeed, you possess an interesting quality. Oh, show info. There we go. Beast 1 alley's defense for 3 turns. Deals light physical damage. Deals light electric damage. Um, sure. Might as well try this shit out. But you're not catching me so easily. If what you seek is truth, then your search will be even harder. Surroundings are covered in a fog. Can we attack him again? Can we still see him? 
I feel like you can't really see him all the way over there, but everyone sees what they want to, and the fog only deepens. But we meet again at a place other than here? Hmm, I look forward to it. We're losing consciousness. Weren't we already unconscious? Wasn't that kind of the point? We were asleep? Knock. Breakfast. Almost time to get up. I feel like you had a nightmare. What could it have been about? You're starting school today. You should head to the living room for now. Food! Thank you, child. Good morning. Hello. Who puts okay. their toaster on the kitchen table? Let's eat. Um, do you do the cooking? I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. You're She's starting fucking school precious, ain't today, she? right? My school's on the way, so let's go together. Nanako seems somewhat restless. You decide to head to school with Nanako. Wait, can I eat my food first? She went through all the trouble of making it. It'd be kind of rude not to. School zone, Samagawa floodplain. You know it's a floodplain. Why would you build your shit here? You keep going straight from here. My school's this way. Bye. Bye. Oh, and goodbye, Noodle. <laughs> Enjoy your shower. <clears throat> yeah. School zone intersection in front of the school. Some of this translation seems a little weird. Bro, do you know how to ride a bike? That's going to end up being our friend. That look painful you should leave him be or not but ask him how he is at least you know did you pay for this game only dumber <laughs> i don't know who that is i'm sorry right at the main gain see something high school what kind of student life awaits you here um probably the student kind that's that's my guess man your bestie from p3 <laughs> I don't remember the people from P3. I only played like an hour and a half of it or something. <laughs> I played very little Persona in general. They're games I've always been interested in, but never actually played. Mr. Baseball Bat. All right. We get to enjoy his long ass sermons every day for a whole year. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? Which one is, is it? Persona a Three Reload or Persona Four Reload? Just Isn't there one where you get a pick? <gasps> really? Hello. Just water today. Just nothing. Nothing fun. Right. If I drank anything fun, I'd probably fall asleep. So. I might fall asleep anyway, <laughs> so like... What's with him? Who knows? Sad times, I know. Such sad. Is water, though. Water's good. Alright, shut your traps! Hmm... I don't I'm like him. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. First things first. Just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon I'm over listening. each other like love-struck baboons. Long as I'm around, you students are going to be pure as the driven <laughs> snow. Okay, you got it, my guy. Now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. Garbage. Been thrown out here like yesterday's garbage. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what accent is this shit? And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Tell him your name, kid, and make it Let's quick. Be from Boston, yeah. Uh, you calling me a loser? Your courage has increased, okay. Let's go. Huh. 
That's it. You're on my shit list. Effective immediately. Well, dude, you were being a now dick. What'd you expect? Up. This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. You'd better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. The fuck? But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. Uh, excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. Sit down. <laughs> I don't like this guy. I don't like this guy at all, dude. This dude's stupid as hell. He's the worst, huh? Rock yes. Love for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we'll just have to hang in there for a year. Talking about Sucks you. to be the transfer student. Ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. Can we just not whenever he calls our name? Your life has begun. Will you be able to fit in here? Uh, it's mm, to be determined, I guess, man. I don't know. Nice. Skip the entire school day. I like it. Now, I'm sure we'll spend time in school at some point. Who's this dude? That's all for today. Oh, it's Normal the same dude. Will start I don't know why the room looks so much different now. It's just like different lighting and angle. Attention, all teachers. Air to another teacher. He's a saint. Jesus. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. How bad is the other teacher? Classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Um. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. That's not sus or anything. He's seriously getting on my nerves. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Those sirens sound really close. Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Not the fog again, dude. It's the fog, man. Like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Uh oh, nothing. <laughs> hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Bruh. Oh uh, yeah. You mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Are you serious? Hey, what did he do? Kiko-san, mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? Wait, the announcer is the dude, right? Not the the lady that he's sleeping around with. I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. Longer is this gonna take? The announcer is the lady sleeping with, okay. There's no telling. <sighs> I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights. Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. So are they like two more of the persona people, the people that can like call oh, personas? That's okay. It's Just focusing a lot on them. They're dressed differently than everybody else. Like something like my soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the game's attention, really calling attention students. to them, so I kind of figured it was something along those lines. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible, and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. Incident? What? Something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. 
Ah, when they want like the teachers to escort the kids out or something, instead hey, of just like letting them roam yourself? free. Why don't you come with us? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know I sit next to you, right? <laughs> no, I didn't know that. You do? Question mark? No, of course. Well, nice I get that, you. but like, whenever shit's going down, you know, that's a little bit different, I feel like. I don't know, man. Uh, this is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I've got no upbringing. I just wanted to ask some stuff. Really, that's all. Um, Miss Satonaka, this was really awesome. Miss Satonaka? Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. And I'm really sorry, it was an accident. Please just ah, have Ah, he broke it. Paycheck. Whenever he wrecked, probably. See ya, thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? <laughs> God. <laughs> Poor dude. Right? First wrecking his bike, destroying the DVD, then getting like need in his dick. Like, hmm, he's having a bad day. He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. Ah! Sorry, my chair was like down a little bit, and it was bugging me. Need to pick it up. That was Trial of the Dragon, dude. You should leave him be. <laughs> this is just gonna be a recurring thing. Every time we have a chance to meet this dude, he's just gonna be in like severe pain, and we just decide to ignore him. Like... <laughs> You're Yuki, right? You mm. wanna go hang out somewhere? I don't like this dude either. What? Do you see his eyes? Who are you? There's something wrong with this dude. What's up with him? What school's he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. No bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? Uh, so, uh, are you coming or not? I, I'm not going. Fine! Hmm... What, what did he want from me? What did he want? Obviously, he was asking you out on a date. Oh, okay. I see. Huh? I mean, in really? this case, I'm sure she was right to say no, because that kid seemed a little... I don't know about him. You really had no clue. But then again, that was way over the top. I mean, it was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Well, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. <laughs> Bro, that's no, just cold. <laughs> Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. We're just curious is all. Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on, let's go. Everybody is staring. Yeah, it's a little weird how everybody's just gathering around us. I'm not gonna lie. You hate her new voice actor in P4 Golden? Really? I don't know. I feel like not the voice acting itself, but like the recordings oh, are a little so you came strange. To see his job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. I've just noticed it's really like is nothing here, huh? 
It's a little like crackly at times and well, stuff. That is I don't know. What makes it nice, but there's nothing much we can show to people from outside. Oh, though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I, I think our dyed clothes or uh, pottery or something is kind of famous. How do you not know what your town's famous for? Oh, wait, there's the Amagi Inn. Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. Oh, no way. It's been in all sort of magazines as a hidden treasure. Yeah, but when your town's that boring, you would probably know the one thing it's known for, you know? Like, the one thing that makes it famous. If there's nothing else to know about the town, I feel like you would know that one thing. It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is going to take over someday. The inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. Now your hometown had... Mm. <laughs> that's, uh... That's entirely true. I've... Is that what your town's famous for, though? <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm not so terribly surprised, me. though, sadly. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? I think so, yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Come on, don't start this again. <laughs> she's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? Maybe she's gay, dude. Come on, stop it. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. W wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Jeez, GA. Lots of people <laughs> ship her and Chi. Sorry, sorry. I'm not really getting it so much from Chi, but I could see it from her. You know, just the way that she's like completely oblivious to every dude that comes on to her. Hey, what's that? So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street. Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Okay. Wait, Wait did she did hang she herself? Say? Or body? did she hang something else? Because like, the way they were saying it, I thought she just hung something from the antenna. Or was it like a dead animal hey, or something? What are you doing here? Um, we were curious. I clear out of here before you get in our way. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? E I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh. Well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. But I want all the details. Wait, is that the weird kid again? Oh, no, okay. He, mm, he looks a little bit like the creepy dude. Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? I'm sorry. <clears throat> Go wash your face. No, but that's what it doesn't he though? Like he doesn't look as bad. Brush. He doesn't give the same like creepy messed up vibes that the the one dude does, but But he's got like, I don't know. He looks a little film similar. Was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, Yukiko, why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. What is Juness? Right, then we're taking off. Is it like Start a shopping district later, or something? Go. A mall, maybe? With them left, you decide to head straight home. Lame, I can't, like, investigate. I really want to know what was going on. It's basically their version of a Walmart, okay. Fair. Is that a squirrel on top of the TV? What is that thing? Home again oh shit, he didn't come at home at all. 
Words. <laughs> Shit, he didn't come home at all last night? Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. Happens a lot. Yeah, I kind of got that vibe. I just figured he came home like super late and then left super early. Not, you know, didn't come home at all. Uh, has been identified as oh, shit. Domino, yeah, I'm not terribly surprised. The, local television station. the initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... <laughs> The, the Inaba Police Department. That's where Dad works. <sighs> um, it'll be all right. I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, Police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. How is hanging from an antenna an accident? Like how? The thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans mm. to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. I don't see how you could accidentally hang yourself from an antenna, you know. Her affair with a local councilman secretary had been on the news they just the other day. On the roof? That's scary. Juness. At She's Juness, a little obsessed, every day isn't she? Is customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. She doesn't have much again. I, mean, I guess yeah, that's that's fair, man. I'm not I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's just like, damn, she really likes Juness. You're a good, you're, uh, wait, we can't, like, sing it back to her? Okay, you're a good singer. <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. Fuck yeah, you are, Nanako. Seems that she's forgotten all about the scary story. Let's go, dude. Can we talk to her today? And this dad coming home. Keeps looking toward the TV with a worried expression. You should leave her alone. Fine, we'll leave her alone. Fridge! Nothing catches your eye. Lame. Well, we haven't got anything yet, so... I'm not gonna be doing anything with there. Can we leave today? No. Okay. Um, we'll save again, I suppose. Just in case, like, you know, game crashes or we die or something. That's the one problem with, like, the Persona games. With what we do is, like... It really does take a long time to get Lily into the game. Hello again, Lily. I'm like out of drink. I'm gonna have to go and get more drink. If we. What time is it? 209? I mean, like, I could survive, but like. <laughs> You're tired from adapting to your new environment. Rest in your room? Sure, let's go sleep. Wait, do we actually go straight to sleep? We don't even get to, like, explore a room? I want to check out my work desk and shit, man. Get more drink, but then like the effort, man, because I got to get up and do stuff. And <laughs> Jesus Christ, of course. Why does he even ride a bike to school? Why doesn't he just walk, man? Maybe you should help him. Can we just not? Can we just ignore him like we have every other time? Damn it. Thanks. Um. I definitely would have if we had the option. Yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Um... Are you okay? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm fine. This case See, seems to be alright. Did you hear about the incident from yesterday? Mm. An announcer lady hanging from an antenna. I did hear about that. Some kind of warning? There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. Uh, sure, you might be right. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. But like what are what what are they yeah, warning us of? Like not to talk about him on TV? I don't Oh crap, we're late. You wanna ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. I don't think I trust riding on a bike with you, dude. 
you've wrecked it every time I've seen you on the thing. Mmm, it's this dude again. Be quiet, you idiots. You guys are in high school, aren't you? Can't you shut up during class? Don't you have any common sense? First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you assholes philosophy, and since I'm so nice, I'll straighten up your rotten attitude so I'm at it. Aren't you honored? And I'll be going especially hard on any of you morons that's curious about the murder. Got it? Now get your books out. Knowledge has increased. Let's go, dude. We smart AF. The fuck? I got like a fuzzy. I thought it was like an ant on my leg or something. I have a little fuzzy on my leg. So, you getting used to this place? Uh, yeah. Wow, that was fast. Not much to get used to, really. To here compared to the big city, but there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. The air's clean. The food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? Is it from Junez? It's grilled steak, man. Like that's anything special, huh? I know a place where you can get it cheap. Wanna come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. I mean, a grilled steak sounds pretty good right now. I'm not gonna lie. What about me, huh? No apologies? Uh, my trial of the dragon? I mean, to be fair, you kind of kicked us in the nuts after we gave it back to you, so I'd say we're more or less even already. You always come around when I'm talking about food. How about it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the inn today anyway. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? Really don't think she needs to worry about her weight, dude. She's freaking tiny. <laughs> I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. A little bit of grilled steak won't hurt. Oh well, we should get going too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? I mean, I don't know if I have any money, but I could like pretend to try and pay for myself. Brad is at Junez. <laughs> you were talking about they don't have grilled steak here yeah well once you hopped on the freeloader train i had to change my plans still that's no reason to take us to your place dude this isn't my place or anything his parents like own it or something oh right i haven't told you yet huh i moved here from another city about six months back this location just opened up and my dad was assigned to okay, manage it. Yeah. So our entire family came out here. More or less. Here. This is to welcome you to town. Sadonaka, yours is on me too. Ah, yeah, how sweet. I know. What's the food though? That's what I really want to know. Looks like French fries and salsa. <laughs> Years since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and oh, um. To be expected when Walmart comes to town, bro. Can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <sighs> hey, it's Saki Senpai. Sorry, be right back. Uh, Shiyosuke's girlfriend? Yes. <laughs> he wishes. Chocobo, hello, sir. Oh, that's Saki Kunishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. Mm. I think she's working here part time, though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. I'm guessing their liquor store isn't doing so great now. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Ugh. Madam, you wound me. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. She sounds energetic. About as energetic as I feel right now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm, I'm always so willing to listen. I'm fucking dead, bro. 
<laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. Why'd I leave school early yesterday? Oh, she was the one that left early? Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? I mean, I guess more than one kid could have left early yesterday, but I'm wondering if it was her. So, wait, is she the one that found the dead oh. body then? Is that what Did happened? Did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, <laughs> so I hope you two get along good. Aw, oh, she's sweet. Do I need more drink? I mean, I could use something to drink, sometimes. yeah. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. And it's no big deal if, you, uh, if you're busy or whatever, but yeah. Uh, yeah, he's annoying. Nah, he's a great guy. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Put clothes on so you don't get bad. So, like I said, no trouble. It's not that big of a deal. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Laters. Bye. Nice to see you, Saki. Or meet you, I guess. Whatever. She seems nice, though. <laughs> Saki Senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? Oh, I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family run liquor store and the scion of the invading chain, the flame of forbidden love. Dude, it's not like that. Really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? Is that... Is she... Is she telling us to watch porn? <laughs> You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off, alone, uh -oh. exactly at midnight on a rainy night. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say, that person's your mm, soulmate. Okay. What? For a second, I thought you were actually going to say something useful. <laughs> How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Now we have to try it, though. Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Try Are we going to see the fog, man? Wait, you didn't even try <laughs> yeah. it yourself? I feel like we're going to see the fog, wow. man. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard We're fucking Igor, dude. <laughs> Igor's our soulmate. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> Again, I don't think she accidentally hung herself on a freaking Sheesh. antenna. You shouldn't joke about stuff. So like whether that. it was murder or not, no, to be determined, but obviously that politician dude's pretty sus right All about I'm now. Saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. I heard the rumor about the Midnight Channel where one can see one's soulmate on a rainy night. Maybe you should try it out tonight. I mean, yeah, why not? Worst case scenario, nothing happens, right? Best case scenario, we get to see Igor again. <laughs> like... Another dinner alone with Nanako. Um... Did your father call that? I'd probably just, like, remind her of it. No, no, just don't worry. Yeah. Oh. He's home. <sighs> what a day. And before he gets caught away again. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? No. You're late again. I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? Bro, you <laughs> can't. Oh, wait, she has the remote. Okay, I thought that white thing on the futon was the remote. Next. I was like, come More on, dude. You can't even reach over there and grab it. On the incident in Foggy Inaba, announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of mm. Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. 
Don't trust Mr. Namatame. Follow up report about the incident yesterday. When Miss Yamano, the TV announcer, was alive, she was having an affair with the councilman's secretary. The man's wife seems to be Misuzu Haragi and his uh, whatever singer. Could the incident be tied to their lover's the quarrel? Police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found uh, it's Miss gonna Yamano's be... body. What's her name? Saki? <sighs> An interview with a kid? <sighs> Where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> uh, um... Wait, are they, like, masking her voice? This female student's face and voice are indistinct, but you feel like you've seen her before somewhere. Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Huh? She was killed? Bruh. <laughs> oh, uh, so did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to hmm, take care of? Who left school early recently? Huh? That's... George's enthusiasm seems to be perplexing the girl. Looking closely, she reminds you of Saki Konishi, Yosuke, Yosuke Senpai. <laughs> a tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Hmm. It's a real mystery, Many this one, dude. Many are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. And before it's the freaking Walmart, man. <laughs> Walmart put a, head, a hit out on this lady. Had her hung from the freaking antennas to scare people away from the local shops. Some more people shop at Walmart. That's it really <laughs> that's what it is. Case, it? Figured it I out. Mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. Upside down at that. Holy shit. I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. Loads of prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? Kind of rude. We're doing our best here. Or he's doing his best, I guess. I'm not part of the police force. We'll be right back after these messages. At Juness. Every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. Hey, Dad. <laughs> oh, my can God. Can we go to Juness together sometime? He's already asleep. <laughs> no? Can we take her to Juness? Like on Saturday or something, whatever day we're off of school. Weather and back to clouds. Okay, kind of figured as much. Your team is sleeping. You should leave him alone. Does she want to talk to us today? When I go to bed, I wake Dad up and tell him to go to his own room. Still watching TV. Okay, same thing. So nothing new there. Anything in the fridge? Nothing catches your eye. Damn it. We still don't have like food food. Okay, I guess we probably just go to bed again. Oh, wait, we're supposed to look in the TV tonight. Are we going to, like, wake up at midnight to look at the TV? Are we just going to, like, wait around until then? It's raining tonight. Made a promise to try out the rumor about the midnight channel. Return to your room and watch the midnight channel. Yes. Let's do it, dude. I'm curious who's going to show up. I just hope something happens. It'd really suck if literally nothing happens. Here, raining outside, it's almost midnight. Your soulmate appears if you look into a TV on a rainy night. Could she's story be true? Only one way to find out, dude. Let's go. Wait, why is it showing us outside? Okay, it's just an anime cutscene. That's fair. Bro, we really do look dead inside. Maybe we're our own soulmate. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou art the one who opened 
locks the door. <laughs> Not creepy or anything. That dude just like invade our mind. Was he our soulmate? <laughs> To another world? Bro, why would you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? What? <laughs> if I suddenly noticed that my TV was like. I... Yeah, no. I would not purposefully enter my TV. I would just get the fuck out of the room. Are you okay? I'm curious what he saw in there, though. Uh, did I wake you up? Uh, thank you, Noodle. Is it just water? Yeah. That's fine. I just didn't know if you, like, put some flavoring in it or anything. No, it's fun. Lele attack just redeemed hydrate. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, tasty. What just happened? You decided to talk about it with the others tomorrow. Did they have something happen? Is that why they also turn into, like, Persona people? Oh, wait, no, the... Fuck, man, I'm terrible with names. What's her name? Like, Yuki or whatever. She didn't do it with us, right? Oh, hello. Is this the slut? <laughs> hello, everyone. My name is Kimiko Sofue, and I don't know how much you know about world history, but I'm an expert. First, a little about me. I love to use my dowser to look for lost items, and there's nothing quite like a romance. In fact, world history is a magnificent romance. History is like a river. It was born in the past and flows ever forward. Hope we can all enjoy the profound... The profound... Fundity... The <laughs> profundity... Pro... Whatever. Of history together. <laughs> Since this is my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. Our transferee, Mr. Steam, please stand up. Will the re... Mm, nope. When did AD, in other words, Anno Domini, begin? Um. Um. <laughs> I, feel, I, I mean, like, I feel like growing up, I've always heard it was when Jesus was born. But I feel like that's not the actual answer, right? I don't care if we get it wrong. It's not like we're keeping the save anyway, so it doesn't need to be perfect. When Jesus was born. It's definitely not when humans were born it might have been when a nation was founded though but i'm just gonna say jesus <laughs> give the answer you think is correct ah you seem to understand this well does anyone know what bc stands for oh okay i'll just tell you before christ or the years before christ was born this is of course the way we count our years today but it wasn't adopted in western europe until the 15th century oh <laughs> it was around that time that there were many religious wars and powers just occurring Anyhow, the world's beliefs have been an ever-flowing tide since humanity began to emphasize religion. Most holidays are rela related to religion, you know? Do some research, you may find some interesting facts. But regardless of the culture or the tradition, the tide decides who will survive in the present and the future. And those survivors ensure that their will is passed down to the next generation. But now it's time to look from the beginning. Let's take a look at the origin of civilization. You gave the correct answer. Let's go. All the knowledge, dude. Smart AF. I'm awake. I'm alive. Don't mind me. Body being hung upside down. That's so freaky. It's weird. Why upside down, dude? Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was pretty obvious. We knew it was Saki. Yo. Um. It's a. It's not really that important, but, well, yesterday on TV, I, uh... Yes, you what? Oh, uh, you never mind. Ah, Let's no, tell me, dude. Later. I, I want to know. What happened? Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai is supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today, either. 
I think she deserves a day or two off after finding a dead body. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today, too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Uh, I can't believe her, dude. Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today. I guess they're well, running that an ragged. announcer lady was probably, like, keeping the place afloat. <laughs> I don't know how much they were charging her, but... By the way, did you see it last night? Huh? Uh, well, what about you? I did! I seriously saw a girl. Ah, uh, is that why people think she's bi, or, like, pretty sure that she's bi, at the very least? But my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? I couldn't quite tell who it was, but oh, it no, was okay. a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. But she was wearing our school uniform and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. Brown hair, shoulder length, wearing our school uniform. That could be like anybody. We're <laughs> like, look around. Everybody here except for us has brown hair, roughly shoulder length. <laughs> like... I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? Does that mean we have the same soulmate? How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? Um, I saw something a little different. And then I got sucked into my TV. It sounds like we all saw the same person. Was it? <laughs> Weird voices aside, uh, was that about getting sucked into your TV? Was it a girl with brown hair? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. That's pretty God. realistic. <laughs> well, if it had been bigger, then... Are we going to try well, it again with a bigger me. TV? Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Let's go, dude. Let's oh, go to yeah? the TV dim well, dimension. Well, TVs are definitely in these days. Want to go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen. Excuse me while I just die a little bit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet Wink. they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> they don't believe you at all. You decide to go to Junez with the others. Can we take Nanako? She wants to go to Junez. We should be able to take her with us. No? Bruh! That's fucking rude. Junez Electronics Department. We should be able to go grab wow, her and take her with us. huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? There's a reason? Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. wait, is she... Rich folks? No, it's fine. Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. The, wait, huh. why Why are you beefing up the electronics selection well, if, like... At least looking's free. Whatever. Nobody's buying the shit. Why put more shit out? That's what I don't get. Nope. Can't get in. Figures. Bro, imagine if we just like popped to <laughs> the TV. It. it was all just a dream. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ah, what am I saying? So, Chien, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? Oh, no, they said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? Big and cheap. Good luck. <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model, just released this spring. What? Well, that's not cheap at all. There's way too many zeros. Told ya. I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You've got connections, right? Come on, hook me up. Just grab the display model and go for it, dude. <laughs> you know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit. It's a little old. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, dude. That's how I got my last TV. I bought a display unit. <laughs> TV this big, you really might be able to go inside. Wink. Ah, guys. Hello. Oh, yeah. What kind of TV do you... 
Yeah, believe me now, you dick. Huh? Something wrong, Yusuke? <laughs> is his arm in the TV? Whoa. Uh, is that some kind of new model? L like, with a new function? <laughs> when did you guys just tried the same thing, remember? Hell no. Wait, what kind of function would it be that just lets you go into the TV You're anyways? Holy shit, you sorry. I'm like dead right now, man. It took me a second to, <laughs> to process what they were saying. Oh, man. This is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? Both of them are staring at you astonished. You might be able to put in more than just your arm. Bro, why are you... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> why does this... Why are we stupid? <laughs> Get the fuck out of the TV. There's empty space inside. You tell them that. What do you mean inside? What, what do you mean empty space? I mean, it's empty. What else do you want me to say? Seems very spacious in here. It's a freaking spacious? TARDIS, dude. I mean, what's going on? Holy crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. <laughs> are you going to pee your pants? <laughs> I've been holding this is it all so day. dumb. I, I can't hold it anymore. Jesus Christ. Oh. Shit. Customers, they're coming. What? We've got a guy half stuck in a TV here. What are we going to do? <laughs> like, bro. Wait, oh, my ah! God. <laughs> they're all a bunch of freaking idiots, man. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> we all freaking die. Broke our necks. We're done. Right on my wallet. Man, where the heck are we? What is this place? Some place inside Janice? Hell no, it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh... What is going on here? Some backroom shit. Just fall through a TV into a yellow room. Oh, can we actually like do stuff? No. Okay. Oh, so, uh, we're still alive, right? To be determined. Um, are you guys okay? <laughs> Your understanding has increased. I think my butt's cracked now. <laughs> of course it is. Whoa. Wh what now? Did you wet your pants? <laughs> oh shit! He never I'm did go, did he? Around. We on? Oh, we're on a stage. Is this a, a studio? All this fog, or is it smoke? The fog There's man. There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Is there a oh, TV no. studio around here? Man, no. Hmm. This place is huge. If she was an announcer, then like, did she commute to work every day? I guess with like solid trains and shit like that, it wouldn't be that bad. What are it's just we weird do? that she would live here and then be a TV announcer somewhere else. Um, let's look around. Huh? But but. Look, we need to get home and... Well, yeah, how are we going to get home? We don't know, so we got to look around. Figure out how to go home. Huh? That's how this shit works, bro. Wait a minute. Which way did we come in from? That way. I don't see a way in. Or out. <laughs> what? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Oh my god. Okay, Click your heels so three times. I hear that works. Um, We're doomed. <laughs> Let's just look for a way out, guys. Let's just calm down and look for a way out. Yeah, an exit. We need to find one. Let's calm down and think about this. There we go. Somebody's speaking sense now. All right. So we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. Oh, that's true, but... 
If there's no exit, we're trapped. So let's cross our fingers and look around. Stuck in the TV dimension forever, boy. I mean, considering he hasn't pissed himself, I feel like our bodily needs aren't a real thing here. So we're probably fine. You know, we could just stay here forever. and Why not? What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. Ah, excuse me. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? From I the exit? Positive, we don't know where the exit is, so like, a little. doesn't really matter which direction we go now, does it? I know, but... Unless we all split up and go a different direction. You know, there's no choice for now but to continue onward. Then onward. Forward we go, dudes. Through the weird red portal. It's where they shot Breaking Bad, yeah, dude. And Fallout. Hey, is no, it wait. Is the fog yeah, right Fallout there? 3. That had the green tint to everything, right? No service. What a surprise. Yeah, we're inside a TV, slow dude. Down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. This her room? Oh, no. It's a dead end. There's no exit. Keeps These posters look a little sus. The Can we, we go. investigate this a little bit? What the hell? Uh, I can't hold it any longer. Oh, My okay, well. Gonna explode. Bro, just pick a corner and go. Yeah, Nasty, honestly, what like are you, doing? you did the right thing in this case. Also, Huh. I gotta let it out before I piss my pants. You're going here? Oh, you chair, chain, me. red scarf. Something it's either went right. down or was gonna go down here. Uh, I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. He's so rude. Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Yeah, and let's just ignore the blood on the wall and the other strange bodily fluid looking things. Somebody must really hate this person. Just can the dudes Dude, get fucked on terms of guys versus girls? Rope. That kind of arrangement is never good. Yeah. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Huh. Come on, let's go back to where we came from and, and look somewhere else for an exit. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Who cares? Let's go. Is that... I'm sick of this place. Is that the singer lady? I, I'm not feeling so good. The wife of the... The politician dude. Now the exit where the girl's body was found too. is the oh, oh. The body does feel heavy. Could it be due to this place's oppressive atmosphere? Right, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Hmm. <laughs> Stream, you didn't see that? Oh, yeah, my bad. You're right. <laughs> I saw nothing. We finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? I mean, so far we've had control of our character for a total of like five minutes. So like, <laughs> so I'm not really that concerned. That's the one thing with the Persona games, There's man. They over. have slow ass intros. <laughs> You're cute. Hi there. What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? A monkey bear. What in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? Is this like our first persona <gasps> that we get? Uh, what are you? You, you want to fight? <laughs> what? She accidentally Sudoku was trying to leave. <laughs> what the fuck? Don't, don't yell at me like that. Bear's cowering in fear. Maybe it'd be better to ask him nicely. That reminds me of the first game, man. The first Persona game, you, like, 
have to compliment or degrade or whatever the freaking demons. It's a weird system. Um, what is this place? This place is what it is. It doesn't have a name. I mean, that's fair. It's where I live. You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Can you help us, like, get there? Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Ah. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? Jesus Christ, what dude. What gives you the right to yell at us like that? Stop yelling at him. Where are you? Where are we? He did what nothing wrong. He's just a <laughs> big adorable idiot. Oh, good job. <laughs> oh, he's hiding behind us. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. Tell us how. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Ah, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the freaking exit. Wait, what? Jesus Christ, if everybody would just calm down a little bit. What the hell? Well, where did these TVs come from? He summoned them, obviously. Is he okay, just gonna like go, push go, us through? I was waiting for him to just like, you know, <laughs> just give us a good shove. Oh wait. <laughs> wait okay, that's <laughs> fair. Stop pushing. I mean, that's what I expected to happen, so we good. That's fine. <laughs> Imagine there were people around and we just popped out of this freaking TV. Did we make it back? Also, does that sign over there in the corner just say moo? Attention shoppers. Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Side dish area. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Do they really have like age-gated bargains? It's already that late? Well, I mean, I guess, like, you know, there are special senior sales and stuff on different things. But that's usually, like, subscriptions and shit. Not produce. Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Yeah, it's definitely the singer lady, ain't it? Hey, right. They're the same. I, I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Miss Suzu Hiragi. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Sorry, I'm trying to think. So... So this lady is the wife of the dude who's having an affair with the lady that was possibly murdered? But her face was the one covered in posters and all scratched out. So does that mean it was like her husband's room? In this weird alternate dimension thing? Or maybe that creepy child? Is that creepy child like an illegitimate child? Oh my god, so many questions, dude. Everything's just weird. Oh boy, it's complicated, bro. <laughs> yeah, it really, uh, my mind is bent, man. It doesn't help that I'm like half asleep, but I'm so, I'm so lost. Or maybe, okay, so yeah, it could be the room of the lady that was killed, though. Like maybe she hated the wife? And actually liked the creepy politician dude? That's a possibility, right? It could go the other way around. I don't... Ding? Okay. So she was planning on offing herself, but then she somehow ended up on an antenna? Oh my god, I don't know what's going on. 
feeling gets explained too. later. Well, like I said, I'm totally down. I, I plan on finishing this game sooner or later, so it is going to go on the list. Whether it happens on stream or not is up to you guys. Um, although, warning, the Persona games are, like, infamously long as fuck. So, like, that's a thing. Hey, welcome home. Many thank. Are we having big bowls of ramen? I like ramen. I have ramen. I shouldn't make some broth. Um, well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? Not today. Um, she wasn't at school today. Sure, let's, like, help him out. Oh, I see. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. After the news broadcast, is there, like, somebody worried that she knows too We've much? Got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. Oh, work just keeps piling up. It's weird how busy he is in, like, such a small rural town or whatever, you know? Nineveh. You would think a detective in a tiny little town would have very little work to do. <laughs> Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Amagi Inn is the inn that Yukiko's family runs. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. I really want to stay at a Japanese onsen one of these days, dude. Like someday. That's that's life goals right there. The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Uh I see. Moving along, it's time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. News continues. Just before the announcer was found dead, she was apparently staying at the Amagi and run by Yukiko's family. Yeah, we kind of knew this already. It seems the whereabouts of Saki Konishi, who discovered the body, are unknown. Yeah, we kind of talked about all this already. Give it some more time. Oh. Bless you. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? Look at her go, dude. So excited you to help. You should get to bed after you take it. Bro, we don't even get dinner? That's rude. What if I'm hungry? Uh, is there any point in, like, checking the TV every day? Do we just get the forecast from it? Does feel that way. People are sick should stay in bed. There's fog today. So you should go to sleep early or you'll catch a cold. Tell her you went to Junez. That's so rude. <laughs> like, hey, guess what we did without you today? You should go straight to bed tonight. A spring cold can be tough. Anything in the fridge? Can I get some food? No. So there was fried rice in the fridge the first day and then nothing ever again. I'm assuming we're still not allowed to leave, right? Yeah. No, we're not. We're not far enough through this long ass tutorial intro whatever you want to call it we've been playing for what that say over an hour like an hour and 20 minutes now <laughs> the body feels heavy it'd be best if you went to bed early today sure i mean i can't see anything else to do up here so why wouldn't we go to sleep where i can't wait to have a futon to play games i was looking at a switch so what i'm gonna try to have like all of my consoles hooked up um and all i'll need to do is like switch hdmi cables also damn is that Saki? take it easy togobo thanks for stopping out my guy he's weak arms are heavy vomit on his sweater already mom spaghetti um <laughs> but anyways like yeah oh you're up well i'm off um so like in the switch that i was looking at it's expensive as fuck but it has, it's a splitter and switch. 
So I'll be able to have like an actual CRT hooked up once I buy one and my upscaler hooked up. And then, of course, like all my consoles, I'm going to try and have like set up off to the side over here. So like the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, PS1, 2, 3, 4, 5, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, that way it can just like easily switch between everything. And then like, yeah, have the futon to like sit on and be comfy when playing games for, for stream or just in general. Or if I ever have like friends over and we want to play games together and shit like that. I'm super excited for it. I was hoping to get like a good HDMI switch to also... You know, so everything could be hooked up and I wouldn't have to change any cables ever. But it's hard to find one that support the PlayStation 5. Um, and if I ever get one, the Xbox Series X. Because it seems like all of the, the switches just support HDMI like 2.0 or, or 1.9 or whatever. Um, I don't know the exact revision. But yeah, so I've kind of settled on just getting like a really small switch slash splitter just for streaming purposes. And then just, like, swapping HDMI cables. Um, so, like, yeah. But I'm still super excited, even if I have to do that. Because that'll be, like, as long as I have everything labeled well and, and cleaned up nicely and whatnot, it'll be super easy to just, like, unplug one thing and plug in another thing. So I'm super excited for it to get the room Dad set up. It's going to be something. it's gonna be nice. He got a call, so he left. Yeah, it probably has something to do with the girl hanging upside down from the freaking power lines, if I had to guess. Nanako looks worried, as she probably should be. I'm going to have to get another camera, though, up there. Because um, I want a camera for, like, you know, the computer whenever I'm streaming PC games or like this or whatever. But then I'm also going to need a computer or a, like, camera around the TV area for the futon. Um, for whenever I want to do the casting couch shit. And uh, <laughs> that's only for OnlyFans. Um, but anyways, yeah, no. And then another mic. I'll probably need to get another mic too one for that area like there's a lot of stuff that i still need to do and set up before it's fully set up but i'm still super excited for it when i looked i saw three police cars zooming by you live by the police station don't you did you hear anything i heard some yelling but nothing more a total disappointment jeez you need to pay more attention to stuff like that how else are You hear sirens nearby. It seems there's been an incident. You decide to head to school. Bruh, where's that curiosity, man? You're a teenager. Go explore. Go find out what the hell's going on. Did you see it yesterday? Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. We hear people gossip gossiping about something. What are they gossiping about? Wait, if Chocobo left, that means lunch. yeah, it's like pretty much time to get off. Uh, okay. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Hey, what's As long as this day doesn't day? take too long, we'll finish off the day. But everyone, please settle down. I kind of wanted to meet the slutty teacher. About to begin. First, the principal has something to say. I'm just I curious now. Regret for to science, say you know. That I have a terrible announcement for all of you. One of our third year students, Ms. Saki Konishi of Class 3, has passed away. Passed away? Or, like, brutally murdered? Because it seems more like the second one. Ms. Konishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you. All right, please quiet down. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. So mind what you say. Not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Bear. Found dead. How could this happen? <sighs> Principal's address continues. And continues and continues, I guess. They always talk too way too long. They always Was that even an ink She died the same way. Fuck my brain! <laughs> so <laughs> Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. It's gotta be a serial murder case. 
Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Hmm. Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that midnight channel thingy. Mm -hmm. So, wait, so we're actually like seeing into the TV dimension maybe? They said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. So was she just a liar liar hanging from a tail? <laughs> Whoa! What did she do to deserve all that? He's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Hmm. Sheesh. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. I mean, are we really personally involved? Hey, did you guys check out the TV last night? Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so... I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen was Saki-senpai. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain, and then she disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Well, remember mm -hmm. that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe, mm. just maybe, but Miss mm -hmm, Yamano mm -hmm. might have been on that midnight channel before she died, too. What's that supposed to mean? Hold on, are you saying people who appear on that TV die? I can't say for sure. But something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. Uh. Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? That have something to do with the it also room said and the news. Someone's and... been throwing people in there. Hmm. In that room with the posters on the wall. It has to have something to do with the announcer's death. I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? What would the Couldn't poison that world and the TV have be? something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Well, so many think? questions, dude. Um, yeah, you might be right, actually. I kind of agree with you. So it's not just me, huh? If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. That would explain the posters in that room. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Yosuke, don't tell but like... Me. So if it was the announcer lady's room... Was she going in and out of there, or is it just like connected to the real world in some way and related to her actual room? <sighs> yeah, I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. Don't you kind of need my help to do that, though? D d don't do this. You should just let the police handle this and... You think we can rely on the police? They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. Besides... Even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're going to believe us. I mean, I could show the detective that it's real. Completely off base with this, just, just that's saying. Fine. That's an option. Just, I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Oh, Yosuke. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. There I'm it is, go okay. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. Only if you promise to buy me some grilled steak. Yosuke has asked you to take him into the TV world again. I can kind of understand how he feel, but we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. It's fine. We'll just find what the bear, dude. Do? Um, let's go with him. Whatever. We'll keep uh, him safe, or try serious? to at least. Exactly, that's my thinking. He needs his friends right now, man. And what if he did find a way in there somehow? Better that he's with a group than by himself. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you guys came. We came to stop you, idiot. Come on, you really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. I know, but we were able to come back once, right? Because of the bear. If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. 
maybe isn't good enough. I'm guessing that's what the ropes were. I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with it. I'm curious, like, what would happen if he tied that rope to, like, the display there or something, right? And then jumped in? Would the rope just kind of get severed? Or would it, like, just float up into the air and then disappear? Is there some sort of constant portal? And that's is it true, every TV? But... Does every TV go into a different location? There's so what many weird you? questions, man. Did you just walk away? Nope. Uh, I'm worried about Chi. I'm worried about Chi. No telling what may happen over there. You voiced your concern over Chi coming along. Your understanding has increased. Yeah, it'll be just you and me. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. The rope! Huh? Hold the rope! Is she gonna get You're pulled going in? This tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. So that rope is not that long, bro. What? Then is this a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. Here. And what do you, you tell like people that pass by, you know? If there's just a rope hanging out of the TV? <laughs> How do you explain that? Golf club and medicine. Let's go. I thought it might be better than going in empty handed. So wait, we actually get weapons now? Is right, this where go. the game actually starts now Gee, that we're getting off? You do, <laughs> I think the game might actually be starting finally. Hey, I said wait. A little bit late though. It's only been, you know, an hour and 46 minutes. So it does, dude. It just like, oh, nope. Okay, it got severed. See, I knew this wasn't gonna work. Now what? Is mm. this? Look, this is the same place as last time. So they are connected from place to place. You guys, why'd you come back? We need answers, mysterious bear. I get it. You're the ones behind this. No, we're the ones trying to solve this. You're that thing from last time. Wait, what the hell did you just say? Lately, I can tell. What happens if you unzip his zipper? Is he empty here. inside, or is he like stuffed? making this world more and more messed up this is the second time you guys came here and I don't think anyone forced you in that means you're the most suspicious he's not wrong <laughs> you guys must be the ones throwing the people in here oh no um don't label us like that shut up no don't label us like that what are you talking about throwing people in if someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a... Wait a sec. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about someone throwing people in here. Does he mean Senpai and the announcer? About time you put that it together, dude. someone throw those two in here? Hey, what do you think? Um, they accidentally fell in. No, I think that's probably right. Yeah, I agree. Let's assume he's telling the truth. I mean, why would he lie? That someone's throwing people in here, intending to kill them? If that's the case. What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? It's a one-way door. You can't get out once you're in. Remember how I had to let you guys out? Does that mean he could get out anytime he wanted to? <laughs> yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See, this time we have a life... Frozen what? idiot. Hey, you better let us out once we're done investigating here. I'm the one who wants to investigate. Come I with us, weird beer dude. Time. Beer dude, bear dude. It's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. Um. It doesn't work that way. See? So it is, you guys. 
What kind of proof? How am I supposed to prove it to you? Us, so we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up, because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? Mm -hmm. I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. Oh, shit. Okay. Ah, I get it. Huh? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it. If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. Shadows get violent. That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now. Jesus Christ, mysterious bear. I told you and told you we're not the ones doing it. It's got nothing to do with us, with dude. You. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? I mean, his I'm logic's pretty sound, but like shit. You might be the culprits. I'm just making sure. Man, this bear's driving me nuts. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? What weird show? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh, I I'm asking if someone's been filming the- Oh, that the Midnight Channel here. thing. Huh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. Um... Always been like this? Only me and Shadows are here. I told you before. That makes you a little sus, bro. Look, we don't know what these shadow things are. Or what you are either, for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe you're the real culprit. And what's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face. Ah, uh, we taking off the zipper? Oh, okay, he's Whoa. just empty. <laughs> what the hell are you? It, it's empty inside. Can he still talk? No, okay. I was hoping the, the face would just talk from like the floor down there. I wouldn't do such a thing. I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. Can't blame him for that, dude. Okay, I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. But I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. Promise me. Or else. I mean, we'll do what we can. But, like, it's kind of hard to make that promise. This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then... And then... I... Jesus Christ. What are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. Sir Spare is asking you to find the culprit behind this. Someone on the outside is throwing people into this world. The culprit isn't you. He wants you to find the real culprit. The mysterious bear seems serious about this. <sighs> hey, what should we do? Remember the words of the mysterious old man who called himself Igor? It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination. And a great mystery will be imposed upon you. Could this be the mystery that will be thrust upon you? What was the contract Igor spoke of? Finding the culprit and solving the case be part of the promise. And in any case, since you cannot leave the TV world on your own, there seems to be no other option. Let's do it, dude! Once I can ask, will you promise me? I promise to do my best. Bear, practically holding a gun to our heads. But it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. Look for the. Better go to bed. Huh? Heading in an on. early out, an hour too. early tomorrow. Gross, but also good night, man. I'm getting ready to get off myself. I'm just trying to finish this day without falling asleep. <laughs> Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. You got a name? 
Did we get to name him? Is he like a party character? No, just Teddy, okay. <laughs> yeah, have a good night, Rue. Hope tomorrow goes but well how for are we you. supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. Hmm, yes, yeah, show us that. You mean Saki-senpai? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. Well, I'll take you there. You might find clues. Let's do oh, that. One thing first, you two should put these on. Are they suits? Oh, okay. Oh, they're glasses. I was kind of hoping there were some glasses. weird, like, teddy bear suits. Do these let us see the shadows? Put on the glass, your vision instantly becomes much clearer. Whoa! The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. Why does he have random glasses that do that if he's the only person here? They'll help you walk through the fog. Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. That's fair. What happened to relying on you? Th there better not be any monsters, you understand? We brought weapons, but I mean... They're more for show. We just got here. You if mean we so can't really defend ourselves with a golf club? Instead of relying on us. Uh -uh. Against no shadows way. of all things? I've got no muscles. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe Let's distance. go, dude. I like How's Teddy. He's an idiot, but like... <laughs> Can Teddy really not fight? Uh, try touching Teddy? <laughs> Let's touch the Teddy, man. <laughs> oh, God. No. What would have happened if we would have hit him or actually, like, pushed him, pushed him? Is this thing for real? Uh, this is so lame. We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get? Oh, yeah. Can I ask you something? Who's this Saki senpai person? Someone you know? I mean, my buddy here was a little bit obsessed with her, but, you know. That doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know Senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information, too. Let's get moving. Is it, like, possible Wait. to save in here? Because your boy's going to fall asleep. Ooh, okay, so it's like a version of the town. Looks yeah. Like the shopping district. What's going I mean, that's on more here? or less what I expected it to be, but like, yeah. Some weird places have appeared here recently. Things are getting so tangled, I don't know what to do. Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. Of course not. I mean, uh, I can't stand too close, you know. I'd get in your way. Is he scared of us? I feel like he's just scared of us, which is understandable. I'm pretty scared of me. Man, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? Are they replicating it, though? Or is it just like a mirror version of our world? This is reality for the one who's here. As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. But if well, I mean, what do you want him to district, say, dude? We're not far from Saki Senpai's. What's he really like supposed to say, you know? I knew it. This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? What could have happened? Wait a second, they're here. What? Shadows! I had a feeling they were going to attack! So wait, does that mean the fog cleared up already? Or is it just like they're there in that area? <laughs> Look at the dudes. With their faces and oily bodies. They're less shadows and more like goo creatures. Oh. <laughs> I am thou. Thou art I. Are we about to summon our persona? I'm super happy that we get to see our persona before, like, we quit playing persona.
<laughs> Bro's going Super Saiyan over here. Let's go, dude. Okay. Stay calm and listen. Some shadows have weaknesses. I can yeah, yeah, tell yeah. this one has a weakness too. If mm -hmm. you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage Is it of the it, giant ass tongue? Will be a lot easier. Try stuff out and see what works. When you use an attack the enemy is weak against, it'll be knocked down. Once knocked down, the enemy will be vulnerable and you can attack again. However, if the enemy exploits your weakness, it'll be able to act again. Okay. Uh persona. What's the... Okay, well, I can't seem to actually, like, use it yet. The only thing we have is electricity, so does electricity do it? Slip... Slipping? Hablery? <laughs> what? Noise. Okay, so weak to electricity. Supporting party members like Teddy will remember the attacks you use on enemies. Select analysis from the command menu to, to, to view things. Um, that one also works, okay. So, if I, like, knock them both down, do I get to keep going? Noise. Okay. When do I get to summon the Persona? I guess just attack now? Okay, so it didn't do that much more damage using the attack they're weak against. But it has the benefit of giving us, like, an extra turn. Uh, looks like we may have also just did more damage because they were knocked down, though. So, like, there's that. Uh, yeah, if you would, please. I mean, I can come do it if you don't want to, but if you don't mind. Got a surge of energy inside after the recent battle. So we gained XP. You are now able to create personas at level 2! Cool. Face his other self. He's obtained the facade used to overcoming life's hardships. The persona Izanagi. Whoa, what was that? Did I hear you say persona? What was it? I have literally no idea, guy. It just kind of happened. I mean, what did you do? Hey, you think I can do it too? Uh. Oh, damn, Yosuke, you're troubling sensei. S sensei? Gosh almighty, you're amazing, sensei. I am one impressed bear. I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? E. So wait, if I'm able to bring people <laughs> in, is it I possible thought. for me to this take people really out, something. assuming I could find, like, a TV? Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude, you call him sensei Jesus and then Christ. don't show me any respect? <laughs> Sorry. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? Aw, look hey. at him blushing, dude. Alright. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Now let's get back to the investigation. Oh, God. As much as I want to, like, figure this out... What could have happened to Senpai here? I think I gotta call it, man. It's getting late. Wait. <sighs> I wish Janess would go under. It's all because of that store. What the? Oh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? I heard their sales uh. have gone downhill because of Janess. Interesting. It. That poor father. To have his own daughter working for the enemy. What a troublesome child. Hey, hey, Ted. You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. 
Hmm. Mm. I want to know. I really, really do. But I got to go. It's late, late. I'm tired. I have no idea, like, how much longer this is going to be. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? I'm assuming that's her dad. Is this but yeah, nope. If you guys want to see more, vote on it. It will be on the list. If it doesn't get vote on, voted on, I'm going to end up playing it in my own time sooner or later. Because I am super interested. I really do like the idea of these games. But they are super slow. So I understand if they don't get votes. Because yeah, not exactly the best stream game in my opinion. But uh, anyways, guys. I'm going to get off before I pass out. So thank you guys for coming and hanging out. I do appreciate you all. And, uh, yeah, I should be back tomorrow around normal time. Maybe a little bit late. Depends how long I have some plans tomorrow. Depends if that ends up going over or not. Um, but assuming not, I will be on around 530 to play some more Dark Cloud as we try to finish that game up. And, uh, yeah, have a good night, guys. And be kind to each other, yo. Bye! That's the game that uh, I saw a headline. I didn't read the, the article, but I saw a headline that said something along the lines of um, Obsidian worked on Pentiment, I suppose is the name of it, for some number of months without telling Microsoft. Like, <laughs> which I thought was funny. They just like worked on it in secret for a long time without telling anyone. And now they're just like revealing it out of nowhere. You enjoyed and you do agree, but you read Fire and Blood. So you know where they're going. I gotcha, I gotcha. I, uh, I haven't read any of them yet. I do have uh, Song of Ice and Fire, everything that George R. R. Martin has read so far for the, you know, main Game of Thrones series. Um, but I haven't read any of the spinoff stuff either, I guess. Because, yeah, <laughs> I tried to read Song of Ice and Fire, the first book. And I enjoyed it. His style of writing is pretty decent. But my, mem my memory is so bad, I have trouble keeping track of, especially people's names. And uh, there's just a lot of characters to keep track of. Thankfully, there is like a uh, whatever you want to call it.